a war of words over wilderness. The next UNESCO World Heritage Committee meeting will consider the state government's tourism plan for Tasmania's Wilderness World Heritage Area. Its agenda noting a number of concerns should be raised. It states the plan focuses on Aboriginal heritage values but not post-colonial heritage elements. In terms of a comprehensive cultural assessment, it says it's of great importance to conclude this process before any further development, such as tourism development, takes place. This is a really significant and, and strongly worded um, statement by UNESCO and it comes um, on the back of previous expressions of concern about how the Tasmanian uh, World Heritage Area is being managed. The plan for the Wilderness World Heritage Area, or TWA, was released three weeks ago. The uh, Tourism Master Plan outlines uh, the uh, overall arching uh, clear policy directions and guidelines that need to be developed to ensure that whatever does happen in the TWA is uh, culturally sensitive as well as environmentally sustainable. In cases where the outstanding universal value would be affected by a development, UNESCO wants the government to have plans reviewed by the World Heritage Centre. I note with concern a reference in the draft decision regarding development of the Twa that we believe is ill-informed and the government believes an overreach of the World Heritage Committee's role. The government believes this direction needs to be corrected. We're not talking about tourism developments for that sort of thing. We're talking about upgrading a sewerage system or upgrading a track. It's just not practical to have that level of scrutiny. The government has been calling for tourism development proposals in national parks for several years. 11 have been approved and another 19 are being considered. Loretta Loberger, ABC News.